Hello guys and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we learned that Maya got kidnapped by a strange man and we are now trying to defend our client, Matt Ungard, who is basically our ransom at this point. We have to make sure he gets a not guilty verdict or else Maya presumably dies. Pretty high stakes for this final case, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Well, at least we were able to get Mr. Madden Guard as our client. And we know that he didn't do it, which is very important. So, so now what should we do? Well, the trial is tomorrow, and we only get this one chance. And there's only one way to prove Mr. Unguard's innocence. You have to find the real killer. Okay, then let's start looking. Alrighty. I think this is the first time we're able to examine everything, so let's go ahead and look around a bit. And there's a giant building just outside the window. It's the Gatewater Hotel. High-class luxury hotel. Actually, the crime happened at the recently completed hotel in the... Oh! That clears up some confusion that I was having previously. Because, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Very interesting, because previously Phoenix said that this was like his first time here or something like that. And I was like, wait, no, you were here for case two. But no, yeah, that actually, that's pretty cool. Gatewater Imperial Hotel. Just how far are they going to expand their empire? Phoenix, you have no idea. Oh, I'll water it. Uh, it's okay, I already did that. The watering can. Where are you, Mr. Watering Can? Pearls gets too wound up if she's not doing something to distract herself. I hope Charlie can withstand Typhoon Pearls. <laughs> All of the dialogue in uh, Wright and Cole offices is really good in this case. This is the Nickel Samurai, right? Y yeah, that's right. Mr. Nick, please take care of Mystic Maya and be her Nickel Samurai, alright? Will do. Difficult looking legal books stand in a formidable row, they mock me. Oh, do you need to look something up in one of these law books, Mr. Nick? Which book is it? Which book do you need? Um, I can't read those hard books, and, um, I can't reach them either. It's okay, Pearls, really. My desk. Since I don't have time to sit, it's unusually clean. Oh, I cleaned it up some more for you last night, because I couldn't sleep. Aww. Do we have any dialogue about... Our attorney's badge? That's a lawyer's sacred treasure, isn't it? I guess. I feel like it has a mysterious power, just like my Magatama. Hmm. Well, I guess I can let her think what she wants on this one. Alrighty, what do we have to do? Since there were no psyche locks, then that means we can trust Mr. Unguard to be innocent. I really feel much better knowing that. Ever since last night, I was so worried that I kept wondering, what if he is the real killer? What then? Hey, I have something I want to ask you, Pearls. Okay, what is it? Why are you so interested in how Maya and I get along? I mean, she and I don't have anything special go- Huh? W what do you mean? B but I thought- I thought you and Mystic Maya were- I've been mistaken all this time? No way! Ugh! She really wasn't kidding. Pearls actually believes Maya and I are... Maybe I should have just left it alone. Mr. Nick, stop it. Don't hide your true feelings from me. Ow, she slapped me. We actually do kind of get into more of why Pearls believes that uh, Phoenix and Maya, are, Maya and are in a relationship in the next game. It's just like a sort of throwaway conversation, but it's actually kind of tragic. I won't say any more, obviously, because of spoilers and stuff like that. Anyways, let's head out. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You can't come in without... Good morning. Hold on, it's you! What is going on around here? Uh, uh, um... I heard poor Juan was killed, is that true? It's a bad rerun is what it is. Another steel samurai doing the most evil of deeds. Um, you know, that's not entirely... I'll have you know, I was a huge fan of wands. Why, oh why, do all the stars I'm interested in drop one by one like flies? 
It's always been that way, ever since... Um, actually, I wanted to ask you about the murder and what happened. Emph, don't push me, boy! Um, Mr. Nick? I, um, I couldn't hear everything she said because she was talking too fast. Miss Old Bag, could you please speak a little slower? Don't boss me around, you spiky-haired smarty pants! I don't have anything to say to delinquents like you. Ugh, she's clamming up like the old clam she is. Please, anything would be helpful. Well then, how about I tell you my measurements? Um... No! That's okay, really. He doesn't really... She really doesn't like you, does she, Mr. Nick? I know, I know. The victim. My dear Hammer died a year ago in that dreadful murder. And only recently did I finally find a star that makes my heart go ba-dump again. I don't know what to say. I ask you, why does every star I cheer for always end up kicking the bucket? Um... I'd watch your words, no one's going to get away with saying anything bad about my wand. But I haven't said anything. Well, I don't believe a word that woman says anyway. Huh? What woman? That irritating backwater girl with the afro and the horrible country accent. I mean... What is that manner of speaking supposed to be, and why does she never stop? Honestly, women these days, they don't know the meaning of the word modesty. When I was a young maid, I was so beautiful that even the flowers... Pearls? Are you thirsty? Um, a little. Okay, I'll go get you some juice or something. Thank you very much. Hey, are you paying attention, youngins, today? I'm guessing Miss Oldbag heard everything from Lotta. Lotta Hart, hated by two out of two old people. I want to ask you about what happened around the time of the murder. I don't know anything about that. I was here getting ready. Getting ready? For what? The show, of course. Well, and the press conference afterwards. Cue mysterious music for the magical press conference. Anyway, I don't know anything about the murder. I see. But... Huh? But if you're talking about what I saw, that's different. I saw it very clearly. What? I saw the most important moment of that night. The most important moment? You don't mean... Oh, so now you treat me with respect, you disrespectful child. When you speak to, you, when you speak to your elders, you should always be polite. Really, kids t t today. Please tell me, what did you see? The murder last night was gruesome, wasn't it? But then, what murder isn't? Please don't stray to another tangent. Please. If you want to hear more, then show your respect and bring this lady a present. Alright, so we gotta wait a bit before we can crack open Old Bag's locks. I think that's our first set of four Psyche locks, which is interesting. Looks like the investigation is still in full swing. The hotel staff and the police are running around like a bunch of headless chickens. I wonder if we can do any any investigating of our own in this kind of atmosphere. Well, gotta roll up the sleeves and try, I guess. Hey, you're here! Been waiting for you, Mr. Lawyer. Lotta. Hey, Mr. Copfella, the thief showed his face. What? Arrest him, put him on trial, find him guilty, give him the death penalty. What's wrong, Lotta? Are you feeling alright? Looked here and there and up and down the mountain, but it ain't here. So why don't you just hurry up and give it back to me, you creep? Um, what are you looking for? My camera! C-A-M-E-R-A. -E it's my lifeblood. I'm gonna die without my $700 camera. I your camera? Look, don't lots of people say the criminals always go back to the scene of the crime? And looky looky here you. And looky looky, here you are. Yep, here I am, faced with a lot of trouble. Huh? Um, do you know anything? Huh. <sighs> I told you how many times now. I'm a journalist. I've got so much info running laps in my head, I forget things here and there. Please don't get so worked up over this. 
Ha! Huh, I don't care if you beg me. Be extra tough on kids. That's this gal's motto on learning on learning youngsters. Note to self, if I ever have kids, don't let a lot of heart babysit them. So you lost your camera? It ain't no ordinary camera. You buy it in the store and it's $1,600 brand new. Huh? But didn't you just say you bought it for $700? I had a nice long talk with the guy at the store. About five hours, I reckon. I made this itsy, itsy, I made this itty bit of scratch on it and the manager got all huffed up in the face. He gave me his talking to and was real mean about it too. He done made me cry at that. When did you lose your camera? Last night after the murder happened. Must have been when I was busy running around looking into things. That's when I lost sight of my dear darling expensive sweetie. A lot of, what did you capture with that expensive camera of yours? I don't really know. I snapped a shot at anything that caught my eye. So I don't remember. Besides, I couldn't get anything from a big scoop. I wonder if Lotta's missing camera is even connected to the murder. We'll note it down just in case. Lotta, please tell me what you know about what happened at the time of the murder. Well, from before the ceremony last night, I was hanging around here in this area. Yeah, actually, I was here until around the not time Madame Guard was arrested. What are you doing here? You sure you went to school, city boy? Wherever a lot of heart goes, there's a story to be found. A big scoop to be had. A big scoop. I told you before, I'm going to be the best tabloid photographer the world's ever seen. Reckon, of course, that means I'm always looking for the perfect shot. I wonder what scoop she was after this time. Although, I was also on the lookout for the other stars that were here. So, maybe I wasn't here the entire time. Lotta, are you sure you weren't here the entire time so you could take a picture for your big scoop? Well, maybe I was, but that's what real journalists do. I got some juicy inside info, so I thought to myself, why not get a picture for proof? What kind of story was it that you, that you would hang around here? Ugh. No one wants to talk to me today, apparently. Oops, sorry, Mr. Lawyer. Can't be telling that. Can't be telling you that. Trade secret, you know. Not again. Why does everyone have something to hide? We've been stopped, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, take that, Mr. Lawyer. I'm glad someone around here is happy. Miss Lotta and your eye rule smile. So no one wants to talk to us, there's not really anything going on, but we do have two new places to investigate. Let's go to Unguard's hotel room first. Um, where are we? We're in Mr. Matt Unguard's dressing room. This is our client's room. Oh god, what voice do I do for you? <clears throat> May I help you with something? Um, uh, we're... You're Mr. Ungard's lawyers, correct? I gathered as much. I also look for lawyers on my end, but to no avail. Um, how did you know I'm his lawyer? You were just saying that he is your client. In a situation like this, the only person who'd use such a word would be his lawyer. Wow! It's simple deduction, really. The trial is tomorrow, and Mr. Ungard's situation is looking rather grim. So you came here, one stop in your mad dash, to find clues to build the case, correct? Well, you're not totally right, but you're not totally off, either. It's really not the time to be showing off, Mr. Nick. I am Adrian Andrews. I hate to waste time, so let's get down to business. Uh, Alright. She may be of small stature, but appearances can be deceiving. Also, sorry that you hate wasting time, because... The way that I play Ace Attorney, we examine everything in the room possible before moving on. And that's the bedroom over there. That's a bed? Wow, they have really big beds here. It's probably Mr. Ungard's suitcase. For someone who is only going to be here for the awards show, this is a lot of stuff. Looks like he has about three days worth of clothes in here. Stars really are different from us, aren't they? There's some samurai looking clothes on the sofa here. Um, I think that jacket looking thing is called a hoppy. Whatever it is, I'm sure something like that would make a great souvenir. Maya would be absolutely thrilled. Can we examine this spear-looking thing over here? No clues here. Oh wait, really? Oh, yeah, I guess not. 
Looks like dishes left over from dinner. A dinner for two at that. I'm sure they're Mr. Ungard and Miss Andrews' plate. Looks like they had T-Bone steaks. What's with Global Studio and T-Bone steaks? Yeah, if you'll remember from the last game, uh, T-Bone steaks were a huge important plot point. There's some samurai looking clothes on the sofa here. Um, I think that jacket looking- Okay, I already read this dialogue and I didn't even notice. Not much to examine here. Have you seen my attorney's badge though? Um, I'd like to ask you about this. I told you, I hate trifling matters. It's a waste of time to show me things that are of no relevance to me. Wow, this is the first time I've been shut down this badly. Night of the Murder. I assume the first thing you need to know is what everyone was doing on that night, correct? Y yes that is correct. Then I will tell you. Before the award ceremony, I had dinner with Mr. Uncard. In this very room, I might add. Dinner? What did you eat? I told you, I hate to waste time with trifling details. If you took a look at the table yourself, you wouldn't need to ask me. I bet she's a lot of fun at parties. Also, you hate wasting time. It took- you could have just said, T-bone steak. Anyways, and then moved on. But you spent like two sentences calling me stupid. When the award show was starting, I headed for Viola Hall, or Viola Hall. And after the show ended, you came back to this room? No, I had some small errands to run. I helped with the preparations in the lobby. Oh, preparations for the post-ceremony show, I guess. When it was time for the post-ceremony show, I came back to call for Mr. Rungard. After that, I went to visit Mr. Karita. And that's when you found his body, isn't it? He really held strong through everything. Yeah, she does seem to be mentally tough as nails. Um, so, about you and- Stop right there. Don't expect me to believe you've been talking to me without knowing how we relate. S sorry I have no idea why Mr. Rengard chose you as his lawyer. Why did you have to go and say something like that? Mr. Nick, calm down and hang in there. I'll give you a shoulder rub to relieve your stress later, alright? I already gave you my name earlier, but I'll add that I'm Mr. Rengard's manager. His manager? Speaking of managers, did the victim, Mr. Karita, have one? No, he did not. He didn't? Global Studios has a very different policy from Worldwide Studios in that Worldwide Studios does not assign individual managers to their stars. I see. This industry is very ruthless and unforgiving. Actually, you look quite ruthless and unforgiving yourself to your poor partner, dragging a little girl like her to places like this, honestly. You're wrong! I... I'm doing this to help Mystic Maya! Pearls, calm down and hang in there. I'll buy you a juice later, alright? Mmm. Speaking of Mr. Karita... Did you know the victim, Mr. Karita? Yes, I knew him. Also, I know it's a Spanish last name, so apologies if I pronounce it really weirdly. So just bear with me on that. Yes, I knew him. The world is a small... The world is such a small place, after all. Do you know about his revelry with the Nickel Samurai? Honestly, they were like children when it came to that. Time and time again, those two competed with each other over the most uninteresting things. If either one of them weren't so stubborn, then maybe no one would have needed to die. I've got a hunch that this woman knows more than she's letting on. She must know why Juan Corita was killed. Do you have any ideas? As to? As to why Mr. Corita was murdered. Why would you ask me about such a thing? I'm just doing my job. So, do you have any ideas? That's Psyche Lock number three. M Miss Andrews? Sorry, but there's nothing more I have to add to this conversation. Is it a Psyche Lock, Mr. Nick? Yes. It's getting to me more... There's getting to be more and more of these lately. So since we can't really do anything here... I think we should go ahead and end off this episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next episode, we'll go ahead and investigate the other room that we haven't investigated yet. We investigated one new place in this episode, we'll investigate another new place in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! <laughs>